Okay, so if you're like me and things go pop when they're not supposed to, then, well, you're just like me. Right here is a little transformer thingy and <clears throat> I plugged it in and it went pop. And I'm just thinking, oh man, there must be a fuse in here or something. But when I open it up, there's no fuse on the rectifier board right here. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to toss it. But if I look over here, sometimes they'll put a little thermal a little thermal fuse right here. And right there, that's if you pull too many amps or if it gets too hot. And then that little thing will blow. But on the last few transformers, I didn't find this little thing. So I just threw it away or made a flyback transformer out of it. So all you need to do is take this little thing off, twist the wires around, and then it's ready to go again. Or if you're not like me and you're not dangerous, you can search for another one of these and plug it back in here. So, if you have a burnt out transformer, uh, a wall wart or an adapter, whatever the hell you want to call it, and you open it up, and you think, oh, it must be fried. Always look for a second fuse. Right here, usually the fuse is right here by the rectifier board. But sometimes, like these dumbasses did, they buried it in there, in the, sh in the primary. They buried it down in there so you can barely find it. So... Hopefully this will go out to someone out there so they don't make dumbass mistakes like I do. Okay, that's it.